seen three films since I've been here. One was the Hitchcock blackmail on the Odessa Steps, which was amazing. That's not in competition. And I've just seen two of the films so far, um, a German film and a Chinese film. And I was very impressed with both of them, but I've still got another week here and I've got another, um, you know, like two films a day for, for the rest of the week. So I'm only at the very beginning of the process. So, you, you know, you should ask me at the end if I'm still as impressed, but so far so good. Yeah, it's an interesting question really about the value of film festivals and let's say the relationship between, um, you know, the British film industry and other countries such as Ukraine. I can't speak for the British film industry in general. All I can say is that I find the festivals that are growing, the smaller festivals, the ones that are, you know, trying to reach for a higher status, if you like, they're, they're the most interesting ones to me. I think they're fresher, they have more energy, um, they're not quite so busy yet, and there's, a, there's an enthusiasm. They're not quite as jaded or as set in their ways as the other festivals. Um, so I, I don't know about in terms of the, you know, let's say the, the links between the UK film industry and, and what's going on internationally, but as a filmmaker, the, what I find when I go to the smaller film festivals that it's, they're easier to operate around and there's a kind of freshness to them which I really like and also it's like there's only so many times you can go to Cannes or to Venice or, or wherever you know to, to be able to I mean this year I went to two festivals I haven't been to beforehand I went to the Transylvania International Film Festival and to this one in Odessa and I've been enjoying them much more than I would Cannes I have to say and I think it's uh, um, you know it's really good to um, contribute in a small way to, to supporting these um, smaller but growing festivals. I've been very impressed. I've met um, Julia Sinkovich, who, who was the um, festival programmer who invited me here. Very impressed. I've met her in a number of places, in a number of different festivals, and I think going out and, um, you know, like making links with other film festivals and really understanding what's going on in, in, in the world of film festivals is, is important. But I think there's what each individual festival has to do is to work with what's distinctive you know um, they have to find their own character they have to find their own way forward rather than just being cookie cutter or kind of like a copy of, of other festivals i think that's the most important thing you know find to find what their own soul is if you like in terms of how safe Odessa is. I mean, I was obviously aware because of what's going on in the Western media that Ukraine is going through a troubled time, that the situation is not settled. Um, but I absolutely trusted the people at the festival that things were fine here. Um, I'd actually been in Kiev six weeks previous, so I'd seen for myself. Um, my mother was worried about me coming here. <laughs> but I have to say that you know, I would maybe have had some concerns if I was in the east of the country in Donetsk, but coming here, it seemed it was fine. And also, I felt in some way, I would, number one, that I was very privileged to be asked to come here. And the other thing is that it's important in, you know, if a country is going through a difficult time, I think it's quite important that people can show their support in some way. And I think it's really important that cultural events, um, you know, anything to do with the arts carries on, especially in times where there is some kind of political unrest, because these are the kind of things that bring people together and foster understanding. And that's the most important thing at complicated times like this. So I would say I wasn't without concern, but the concerns, you know, I'm here. <laughs> so the concerns weren't so strong that it, that it stopped me coming.